how has the entire pre-draft workout process gone for you? Has it been draining, exciting, fun? It's fun to me. Uh, you know, I take everything in stride. You know, I think it's a great opportunity for me to come out and um, show my talents in some of the best bas in front of some of the best basketball minds in the world. And I just like to soak it in and give it all I got. What has been the most difficult part of the pre-draft process workout uh, for you personally? Any surprises as to what transpires in an actual workout? No, um, the most difficult thing is just to never know what, what people are thinking. But, uh, you know, and, and being that the draft is so far away or a few weeks away, you just don't know what's going to happen. So uh, that's just the thing. You just never know what's going to happen. And that's, that's probably the most difficult thing to swallow. How many teams have you worked out for to this point, and how many more do you have lined up in the upcoming days? I've worked out for eight teams thus far, and I, within the next few days I have about six more. So, uh, When you work out in front of the NBA GMs and other decision makers, is it nerve-wracking to know that you are basically auditioning <clears throat> for a job in the NBA? Not really. Um, for some reason, when I get on, that, uh, get on the court, just get to play, run up and down, sweat, uh, the nerves go away because basketball is still basketball, um, regardless of who's watching. How have you personally prepared for the workouts? Have you been training somewhere with a personal trainer or coach? Or yeah, I've been training, um, you know, a little bit at school and also in Las Vegas at um, with uh, Joe Bunasar, just trying to get in the best physical shape as possible so I can be impressive to the teams. Has anyone in particular provided you any advice as as to how to handle the workouts and what to expect? I guess the person I had to give a, a little bit of credit to, I guess, is just my dad. Uh, him being my high school coach and just, um, you know. Um, I value his opinion on everything, and everything he tells me to do is just always give it all you got. We see that you majored in communications in college. Do you have a desire to get into broadcasting when your basketball career is finished? I do. Uh, you know, I feel like I have a knack for uh, communications, and uh, hopefully the camera is nice to me. <laughs> As a rugged, a rugged forward who attended the University of Alabama, has anyone ever compared you to Antonio McDice? <sighs> that would be an honor to to be compared to Mick Dice or Robert Ory or any one of those great players that ever came out of Alabama, that would just be breathtaking. When did you realize that you might have a chance to play in the NBA? I don't know. Um, I probably won't realize it until the dream comes true. It's just always been a dream of mine and a goal of mine that I've set since I was a little kid. And I'm going to continue to work as hard as I can to achieve it. For those fans who have never had a chance to watch you play, how would you describe your game? What are your strengths? I uh, enjoy rebounding. Uh, my strength is probably my strength. It's on the court. I'm a very physical player. Um, I like to mix it up. I think I have a, a pretty good skill set when I can hit the shots from outside as well as pass it. But uh, they're going to find an emotional player who plays hard and um, you know takes the game very seriously. The numbers you put up out at Alabama improved every year, scoring and rebounding. Do you think that you could contribute to an NBA team immediately during your rookie season? Definitely, I have I have no doubt. Um, you know, if I'm just able to uh, be on a team and be able to put on the floor, I feel like I'll be able to uh, produce with uh, consistency. The Warriors could use a player who can rebound and score in the paint. Have you thought what it may, might be like to play for Don Nelson and the Up Tempo Warriors? Whatever the, the style is, I'd have no problem playing with it. You know, if they want a bruiser, a guy who's going to pull boards and you know throw outlet passes to those guys who are running lanes, I'm the man. Do you pay attention to any of the mock drafts that are circulating on the internet? Not really. You know, a lot of people, you know, they point it out to you and let you be aware of it. But uh, at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen. What has been the highlight of your basketball career to date? Is there a particular game, moment, or team that stands out in your mind? The highlight of my basketball career is probably being able to attend the Michael Jordan Flight School and play a pickup basketball game with Michael Jordan on the court. Who has been your primary mentor or mentors from a basketball perspective? Um, regardless of his basketball or anything, my mentors are my parents. They've always been uh, great supporters of me, leading me in the right direction. Basketball, off the court, on the court, they're my mentors all the way. Okay, now just the uh, one word answers. Lakers or Celtics? Lakers. Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant? Kobe. Sports Illustrated or ESPN the magazine? Uh, ESPN the magazine. ESPN or MTV? ESPN. NBA Finals or NCAA Tournament? NBA Finals. Dancing with the Stars or American Idol? American Idol. Holly Berry or Jennifer Lopez? Both. 
Three pointer, <laughs> three pointer, or dunk? Dunk. Antonio McDice or Charles Barkley? Got to go, Bama guy, McDice. McDice. So this is a no-brainer. Alabama or Auburn? Alabama. <laughs> <laughs>